Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, The A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and it's time to go back to the couch. That, that's right, because this is a Hulu exclusive that came on to the subscription service about a month ago. Uh, finally getting the chance to check this one out. It stars Zoe Deutsch. My review of the 2022 comedy drama, Not Okay, coming up now. Danny Sanders is, a, is an aspiring writer working as a photo editor for the online magazine Depravity. Trying to impress her co-workers, especially a douchey social media influencer named Colin, she fakes a trip to Paris as she takes pictures from her apartment and edits them to look like she's actually in France. The next morning, she wakes up to find out there's been a terrorist attack on Paris. Not the best at life decisions, Danny pretends that she survived the attacks and becomes more popular as she garners sympathy from the masses. So what did I think of Not Okay? I thought it's a smart black comedy drama. It's written and directed by Quinn Shepard, who's best known for directing the 2017 film Blame. The film opens with a warning telling us that the main character of the movie is unlikable, which is interesting to say the least. They don't lie as Danny is a very despicable person and only gets worse as she keeps spreading lies. The film is very much a satire, showing us some of the wrong ways these wannabe influencers go about trying to chase fame or constantly are trying to get follows or likes. It has a timely message as things like this have actually happened. Danny is a very frustrating character to watch as she keeps making bad decision after bad decision, including wanting to hook up with Colin, which results in some very cringy interactions. Danny even joins a support group where she meets a new best friend named Rowan, a fantastic teenager who stands up for what she believes in and unfortunately is a bit too trusting of her new friend as the whole friendship is based on a lie. The story can be predictable as we know this lie can't keep going forever and Danny will crash and burn in some fashion as it follows the formula of other rise and fall stories we've seen time and time again. They even show it in the first few moments of the film. The comedy is very hit and miss throughout, but there are a few good laughs that did work. There's also a lot of emotion and even powerful moments, especially from Rowan. The runtime of an hour and 40 minutes does feel a bit long as it runs out of steam at points here and there, and certain things probably could have been edited out. That being said, the ending felt a little abrupt as well. Good performances from the cast, starring Zoe Deutsch as Danny Sanders, the wannabe writer who finds herself caught in a tricky situation and tries to benefit from it. Mia Isaac as Rowan Aldrin, the school shooting survivor who has a large following that becomes Danny's friend. And Dylan O'Brien as Colin, the self-absorbed influencer Danny has a crush on. Not Okay hits the mark more than it misses about social media and privilege, and while it's not perfect, there's a lot to like. Number-wise, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of Do It. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West Troop A-list. And, of course, you can follow me on the Twitter, Instagram, and letterbox at West A-list. Until next time, Troop out.